Joining us right now uh, for more on the markets and some specific names that he is watching, let's talk to Greg Branch, managing partner for Veritas Financial Group and a CNBC contributor. We are going to be getting some data later this week. Uh, I'm curious, ahead of that data, perhaps some of these names that you do like and maybe some stuff that you don't right now. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Andrew. Um, as you guys know, uh, I'm pretty much looking for a repeat performance this year as we had last. I think the Fed will surprise to the downside, quite frankly. Um, you know, we sit uh, 450 basis points into a hiking cycle and unemployment has barely moved. And so while I acknowledge that I'm still bearish in, in my outlook for 2023, there are names that we can look at that will give us uh, some sustainable earnings growth, largely through inelastic demand but also there's some structural tailwinds. So the credit card companies are, are good ones to look at. You know, I've, I've long spoke about how I think the consumer balance sheet is deteriorating. We saw record applications every quarter last year. Uh, we saw that even though we were reaching historical highs in terms of the average percent, percentage rate. And while that's bad for the consumer, as we saw in the quarterly reports, it's actually pretty good for the companies. And I don't expect any of those tailwinds to falter soon. Uh, all three delivered high teens, bottom and top line growth, at least. All three guided to as much throughout the year. And I think that those tailwinds and consumer spending, which will come down in the back half, will be a powerful tailwind for those companies in particular. What don't you like right now coming into these numbers and where we really are? Andrew, I think we will get everything cheaper in a few months. Um, at the end of the day, I live in a world where I think the terminal rate's probably 6% or north. The market doesn't see that. And I think that if I'm right and the market comes to that view, the market overall will sell off. And so particularly, obviously, things that are interest rate sensitive are going to be highly vulnerable. Growth is going to be highly vulnerable. Uh, there are lots of growth names that I like. Um, Facebook, I think, is interesting. We saw the Snapchat did not actually read through. NVIDIA, as, as we just mentioned, right. I think is interesting with the secular tailwinds of AI and, and uh, data but center. But do you look and, at a and, Facebook uh, so, and, and say to yourself, it's already run? Or do, you, I mean, and, or do you look at a Google now or an Alphabet and say, well, that's really you know, gotten hammered. Maybe that's where the opportunity lies. Right. And, and look, I, I try not to I try not to confuse hammered with cheap. Right. And so something can get hammered and still not be necessarily cheap. Um, at the end of the day, it takes us having reliable 2023 and 24 estimates. And I think we're getting there. You know, remember, we used to be uh, single digit growth for first two quarters. Now we're at single digit con contraction for the first two quarters. So I think we're getting there. And I think some of these names will prove to be cheap on a multiple basis on reliable estimates. Uh, but at the same time, again, if I believe that there's another 150 right. to 200 okay. basis points in rate hikes, I'm not right. excited about buying growth here. Okay, no. so we're going to run out of time. So here's the question. If you're waiting for your moment, and timing is always a dangerous game, but let's say you're going to wait and you're going you're gonna to hope against hope, right. or not, maybe not a hope against hope, but uh, hope that things go down. Obviously, that's not going to be a popular view. What do you Don't put your that, money in, but, in yeah. between? In, in, what, what's your short-term game plan? Are you just sitting in cash? Are you putting in some kind of uh, bond? What are you doing? There are opportune areas that won't disappoint. As you rightly point out, the difference between this year and last is we can get, you know, mid single digits, four or five percent in fixed income in the short term basis. So that's always opportune. But if you need equity exposure, there are areas that will give us reliable single digit earnings growth. Healthcare is one of those. If you look at something like an HCA, where labor proved to be a problem and wage growth proved to be a problem, but they'll likely pass all that on this year. Uh, if you look at, like I said, the credit card companies, you'll get reliable earnings growth there. There are some tech names where we'll get reliable growth. You just have to be careful on the valuation, particularly if I'm right, and there's more interest rate hikes in store than the market currently forecasts. So I'm not afraid right. to dabble in some of those names. Energy as well, uh, reliable earnings growth there, as we've seen over the last year and a half. Okay.